In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple way to edit your images using free apps that you already have. In this example, I'm going to use the uh, Microsoft Paint app and I'm going to edit an illustrated graphic. I'm going to use the AI feature to insert one. And this is a good example of where you get an AI image and then you need to be able to edit it. Sometimes the images aren't perfect. And so how do I edit that? And uh, we're going to use a free Microsoft Paint to do some simple edits. So I'm going to insert an image. And again, we're going to use the AI feature for this. So we'll say a woman on a cell phone. Uh, and that'll give us a simple image. I'm going to choose the uh, vector illustration. So that's kind of a uh, limited color type image. Looks like clip art, right? So we're going to do this here. I'm going to look at the images that are generated. Uh, a lot of times with AI, you know, you want to look for artifacts and see if it's a usable image. This is actually a usable image. The thing that I don't like are these things right here, the artifacts of that image. Or, you know, you may find some imperfections that you want to edit. In this case, this is a usable image. Uh, this one I don't like. Uh, this one's usable as well. She's maybe she's at a call center. And then here's the type of thing I may want to fix. Like I may want to fix her glasses here, right? And then I don't have an easy way to edit it, but it's not a complicated edit. So this is one I could use. And then this one I don't like. So we like this one. This doesn't require a lot of editing. So let's see what we can do. We're going to insert the image. And now once the image is inserted, it's going to be in Media Library. So if I go to View, and I find my media library. You can see here's the image. And then I'm going to come down here to where it says edit. And when I click edit, it's going to make the different image editing apps I have on my system available. And again, we're going to look at using Microsoft Paint. So we're not using something we had to buy or install that's not already there. So we have Microsoft Paint right here. So I'm going to open that. This opens up Microsoft Paint. This is a worthwhile program learning to use. It's super easy. Um, works perfect for these types of graphics just because there's not a lot of color. It's not overly complicated. So one of the things you can do is you can remove the background. Now to see that the background's being removed, I'll come up here to where we see layers. And then you have layering, right? So you can structure your image. We're just going to come down here to the bottom where we see that there's a white background. And we're going to hide that background. So now when I remove the background, I'm going to see what's being removed and then uh, it'll be transparent. So I'm going to just select remove background and see what the automatic process does. And it did a pretty decent job. I can see that there's some places here that it didn't do it. And of course, it's kind of hard to tell in an image like this uh, what actually is the background and what isn't, but it did a pretty decent job. And if if you want to test it, uh, you can come over here and change the color. Like you could maybe change it to a really dark color. Hit OK. And then you can see where you may want to touch it up with the eraser. And we're going to do that uh, just because we can see there's some white in here. I may not want that in my image. So we'll just touch up a little of that. So I'm going to choose the um, couple ways we can erase things. I can use the freeform tool here and just drag that around here and do quick deletes, right? Select it, delete. I got a lot of that stuff deleted. If you're really good, you know, you could try to draw through here. I'm just going to use the eraser tool and change the settings a little bit. And then you can come through here and erase. You know, it just depends on, on how much work you want to put in that. I'm going to just re erase this one big thing here. We'll keep the rest. I'm fine with it. If you want to, you can touch that up. All right. So now I'm going to come back over here and turn off the background. And, you know, if I want to do some other edits to the image, I could do that. I could crop it. Like, I don't need all this empty space. So I'll just crop it really tight here. And once I'm happy with that, I just come up to File. I hit Save. Now what this is doing is saving and overwriting 
what I had in Media Library. So if I don't want to lose that image, make sure you save it first, export the image, and then you have a copy of it. So now if we come back into Storyline, you can see here's my image. It's been cropped, and it's already in here in the course. And even though it didn't necessarily do the best job removing the background, as long as I'm using a white background or a light background, you're not even going to notice it. So super easy tool to use. Uh, Paint works really great for these vector style illustrations where it, you know, there's limited colors in there. A lot of things you can do to touch up and, and, and fix your images.